Good morning, YouTube. Happy Friday. It's Mellow DFS coming to you live and direct. Here to give you my Fade 5 plays for a whopping 15 game main slate. Hope, I, I hope everybody's having an amazing day. Start off that weekend right and also cash before the weekend starts, y'all. So let's jump into it. Feel free to like the video. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Press that bell icon so you always stay notified for future content. Let's get into it, y'all. Going with my picture for today. Dave, want to take a look at Rich Hill going against the Cubs. 9,700 on. Vandal looking about 10,300 on DraftKings, but it's a 36 fans point projection play today. All right, love the spot for him. He had 40 fans points against them last time. Been on the roll in the past five games, as you can see 33, 58, 34, 40, 58. Love this price tag with that much upside. All right, so definitely going to take a look at this play with 7.5 over and under in this matchup with the Cubs today. So, love it. You know, going with three lefties, six righties so far. No switch hitters, as the, his switch hitters is more of a of his worst pitches. So knowing that there's no switch hitters so far, that's been that hasn't been confirmed yet, is a good sign for Rich Hill in this play. All right, let's go to our next spot. Going to this catcher, first baseman position. All right, definitely want to take a look at Eric Hosmer, man. Going against Colorado, I love this play. Love Colorado stack today as well. If you want to know what I'm looking into for today, all right, he's 3,800 um, on FanDuel, but looking about 47 on DraftKings. 11.6 projection play, 26. Uh, Percent advantage play going against Jeff Hoffman. Horrible on both ends, as you can see. 920 on lefties and righties, and horrible against switch hitters. And Hoffman's best hits is against right hand pitchers. So love this play, knowing he has great upside at his price tag. He's been balling recently 16, 13, 13 in the past five games. 16 last game was, it was against Colorado. So love this play. It was 12.5 over and under. So definitely going to get some exposure in this stack. All right, definitely Colorado is a great stack as well. But definitely want to go with some uh, go with the other side with San Diego. So you can't forget them. So love Eric Hosmer in this play today. Another guy I'm looking into. Definitely want to take a look at Daniel Murphy. Like I said, targeting this game, y'all. So 4,000 on FanDuel, but looking about 500. 5,400 on DraftKings. 10.5 over, uh, 10.5 projection play for him today. 64% in this play going as Calcher Cantrell. All right, this is his worst pitch is against lefties. And so far, they're stacking up lefties against him today. So, you want to definitely target them. Uh, you got Blackman, you got Dahl, you got. Uh, story, you got, you know what I'm saying? So, love this play. Daniel Murphy is a great spot for today. So, definitely want to take a look at this spot. All right, but for savings, you can also look into Eric Hosmer. All right, let's go to our next play, third play at second baseman. All right, second baseman like Brian Dozier. No, Dozier going against Arizona, 3,000 uh, in this play, 3,800 on DraftKings. Just definitely a great play over and uh, over on both platforms. You know, 8.9 projection play. All right, it's a 7.5 over and under, but 51 advantage play going against Robbie Ray up the spot 300 bad and average out of 10 play appearances with the home run as well so he hits great against left hand pitchers brian dozier's in a great spot as you can see in the past five games 12 19 22 in the past five just definitely love him in general so he's in a great spot with a great price as well let's see if anybody else i'm looking into like kiki hernandez going against the Cubs so also Dodgers in the great spot going against Kyle Hendricks he's a 429 batting average against him three for seven all right so I love this play for him today 3100 on FanDuel but also 3400 on DraftKings so great cheap value plays on both ends definitely want to get some value and some uh, exposure to that all right let's go to our next spot let's go to let's go to shortstop I think I already said his name. Trevor Story is in a great position today. All right, definitely want to take a look at him today. I mean, it's only 75% um, negative in this spot today. Uh, but it's a 12.50 projection play, 4,600 on draft uh, FanDuel. But he is 
uh, 5,500 on DraftKings. Like I said, going against Kyle Couture, just feel like Story is going to definitely contribute and definitely help him get some runs in. Um, he's been balling in the recently with 25 base point game last game against San Diego. So uh, even though his best pitch is against right hand bats, I just feel like Story is one of those guys that definitely can still connect against right hand pitchers, even with that caliber. And the fact that he's so horrible to lefties, he, he probably will have a horrible day and just end up not getting getting knocked out by a righty. So definitely gonna take a look at Trevor Story at this price. Um, it's expensive, but definitely worth the value. Uh, I definitely like um, Paul DeJong going against the Mets. 3,800 on uh, Vandal, but 4,200 on DraftKings. 10.2 projection play, and he crushes Mets. All right, so I love him in this spot. 571 batting average against him with two home runs out of seven plate appearances. So definitely want to look at him. Don't want to, don't want to always go <laughs> with the cash play. So I think with Trevor Story is a great spot, but you could definitely get a lot of upside with a cheaper spot like Paul DeJong. All right, let's go to our next spot. Going to outfielder. Like I said, my guy for today. Definitely gonna look at Charlie Blackman. All right, love him. Plugging the man, 4300 on FanDuel, but he's a crazy price at 5800 on DraftKings. But like I said, he loves righties, and Crentrell is going to Crentrell is going to be going to get annihilated by him. As you can see, it's just a win-win for Charlie Blackman today. Love him, plugging him in. He's been on the grind. 56 last game against San Diego, 44, 19, 22, 10 in the past five against San Diego. 56, 35, 31 the past three games. All right. Uh, in the past five games, he's been damaging the, as you can see, he's been damaging, man. So love this play for Charlie Backman. Let's go get some savings as well if you cannot add him in there. Like I said, I like David Dahl, 68% advantage play going against, like I said, left. He's, he crushes um, righties. And Critrell is horrible against lefties, so 68% advantage play for him today. 3,900 on FanDuel is real cheap. He's uh, 4,300, I mean 5,300 on DraftKings. Uh, let's go down to another cheap play. All right, love. I love Lorenzo Cain. You know, 3,300 is real cheap. Like 11 finish point projection play, and he's only 4,000 on DraftKings. Four for seven going against Drew Pomerantz. All right, as a four for seven, 571 batting average. Love this play for him as he's in a great position today. So those are my plays, and I have some value plays as well. If you like my plays, feel free to give me a thumbs up. You have access to my player pool. All you have to do is click on the link, sign up. It's only a dollar for 30 days. You do a lot for a dollar, so why not? Cash, all right? Click on the menu when you sign up. You have access to the MLB cheat sheet. that give you the top plays without doing much research down to the top plays for the low tier guys as well you have your sleepers your studs your player trends click on the watch players that's where you have access to my plays click on that you have access click on watch Mel DFS picks up top and you have access to my plays to make quality lineups to cash also for DraftKings and FanDuel y'all so I love y'all y'all collect that bag for today it's Mel DFS y'all stay blessed have an amazing weekend happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there and I'll talk to you soon